Hi, my name is Ben, and I started trading cryptocurrencies in 2017. And in order to make sure that I have enough time to do development work, uh, I had to create a trading algorithm to make sure that I don't spend too much time looking at charts, but actually spend more time trading. So in previous videos, I've showed you how I do that with my personal account. Um, but in this case, I've decided to start a new series where I can actually show you all my trades. So I will start a series where I will show you how to set up the signal bot and uh, then I will look at it every day and will show you how I manage the trade with all the amounts and everything available for you to follow along. All right, so let's get started. So as you all know, this is the trading terminal from all trading and that's what I'll be using. Uh, you can see here that I've deposited uh, 0 0.07 BTC and we will use that to set up some bots. The first thing that we do is we go to the bot platform and then we set up a signal bot. We will give this bot a name and as we'll be going on Qcoin, I will say Qcoin uh, medium profit. And then we'll select crypto base scanner signal provider. And as I said, we will use Qcoin and then I select Bitcoin. Now, I want to make sure that I get into the day trade algorithms. The minimum success rate will just leave for, seven, for 50 right now. It doesn't really matter, but in this case, I'll stick to 50. Next up is the max concurrent position. This will be the number of positions that I'm willing to open at the same time. Um, I want to spread it out a bit, so uh, I usually use four. So in this case, we'll set it to four. And... I only want to open one position per market so that I don't get into the same market several times when I'm already in a position. I don't want to overextend in one market. So that's set to one. The minimum volume, um, we want to be looking for some coins that are nice and, and choppy uh, that return quickly, so, um, but not too low that uh, we'll have a problem um, with selling the coin. And we also don't want the barcode, barcode charts. Uh, so I found that uh, five Bitcoin for smaller amounts is enough. Um, if you have more uh, that you're spending on a trade, then you probably want to increase that a bit, uh, maybe to 10 or 15. Um, the rest of the settings I'm not going to touch because I don't care for minimum price. Um, so yeah, let's just go to the entry settings. So this will be used to calculate the order size. So as I have four positions and in this signal bot, I want to allocate roughly a thousand dollars. I have four positions and I will use um, two extra DCA that I'll show you in a sec. Um, so in order to make sure that we spend about uh, $250, uh, I have to add this, I have to set this to about 2%. As you can see, that will be roughly $70. Then we want to make sure that the entry price deviation is slightly higher than the signal price. So that means that if the signal price is hit, then we try to get in as quickly as possible. But we don't want to throw away our profits immediately, so we set it to a half percent. Then I also don't want to take too long to get in. Um, so we'll set this to 15 minutes. And now for the dollar cost averaging, I want to make sure that I have two orders. One is at 5% and I will use the initial amount again. So another 70, which will make my position to uh, 138. And then I add another target at 10%. And I will use double what's already in the position. So in this case, I'm using like the Martingale scale, where I will double up my position each time. Now for the take profit, as we specified earlier, this will be the median drop or selling at half the median. Um, and basically, this is how I manage or this is how I set up my trading bot that you've been seeing in uh, the previous videos, uh, different amounts, of course, but 
uh, now I can actually show you. So this is better. Then we just hit the save button and the bot will be activated. You can see here we don't have any positions yet. No here, nothing here. And we can check the settings to make sure that it's all good. And that all looks fine. Now, in the previous months, I've been experimenting with some new settings. Uh, and I will share that with you now. So I'll set up another bot on Qcoin again. And this case, we'll do Qcoin 10%. So in the previous videos, we've only been using the median drop or half the median uh, drop to sell the take profit. Um, but I've been experimenting with 10%. And um, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail right now on, on why I chose that. We'll get to that along the way. This video, I will just set it up. And then as soon as the positions come in, uh, I will give you an update. And I will give you more information on what I'm doing. So in this case, we're pretty much setting up the same uh, using 5 ETC volume and fixed amount. And we want to do the same and then after a while we will be able to uh, look at the differences like which bot is performing better than the other and um, yeah, you can see the difference in, in what happens like one bot will do more because it, it, it exits quicker um, and, but the other bot this bot of course will get a lot more profit because we're setting it to 10% in a minute so this is all the same as the other bot but now for take profit, we go to custom, we sell everything, and we say we fixed 10%. Quickly check. Yeah, that all looks good. All right, hit save. So now we have two bots set up. Um, and I'm using the essential plan, as you can see. Um, so that's intentional. Uh, I want to make sure that you can see what you can get on the essential plan. Uh, and to see if it's actually worth it, like how much profit can you make in a month. All right, the bots have been set up, and um, we'll check in again when there's uh, new positions coming in. Um, I will try to do this every day, uh, so you can follow along. So if there's anything to do, I will uh, record a video and show you how I update the trades. And uh, if there's nothing to do, when, then we'll just quickly go over the positions if there is any. And if there's not, then if you leave uh, questions in the comments below, then I will try to answer them in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.